Um, you know, as we watch this viral video that's going around about the pH of waters, uh, the nerd in me decided, you know, we have a great compounding lab. We have lots of unique tools that we can use. So let's do our own experiment. So what's so big about pH? What is it? And why is it important to us to even know what the pH of our water is? Well, pH has to do with the amount of minerals that are in a fluid, for example, whether it be water or inside our bodies. So if we're in an acid state, low in minerals, that increases the risk of bone density issues, arthritis concerns, fatigue, muscle spasms, heart problems even. The only way to know is by testing your pH level. Uh, these, this is a pH paper that you can test saliva with. Saliva uh, comes from our lymphatic system. The saliva is the best way to uh, test. Okay, well great. Well, one of the things we wanna do is help you to understand better why pH is a big deal for us. So what we're going to do is walk through and answer some of the questions that we felt like were raised out of this video. For example, what is pH? How do we test it? What does it look like? So what we have here are some buffer solutions. And these are controlled solutions that tell us exactly what the pH should be. This one is a pH of four. This one's a pH of seven, which is neutral, which is what we are looking for. This is a pH of 10, which is alkaline or what's called basic as well. What we're going to utilize, and we utilize in our compounding laboratories, is some pH paper that's very commonly known. We will start off with the most acidic buffer solution that we have, a pH of 4. And as we add a drop of solution to that, what you will notice is that with time, that's going to turn a darker orange color, which means it is more acidic. The closer we get to the green, the more neutral we will be. Next, we're going to add the pH of 7 solution. We'll add our drop to this, and what we should see is that it obviously will turn green to turn into the neutral solutions that are the neutral pH that we're looking for. And lastly, this is a pH of 10, so it's the most basic or least acidic solution that we have. So here's our calibrated solutions. We know exactly what should the, the pH paper should turn out to be. We know the colors that we're looking for. So now we'll jump into our bottled waters and let's do an evaluation and see what the acidity is on these bottles. Okay, all right, so to prepare for this, what we have done, we've gone to the local convenience store and bought several of the most popular waters that we have out there. So these are in no particular order. We have no clue what these are gonna turn out to look like. So let's dive into these and mm -hmm. let's do some pH tests. So we'll just take a piece of tape, we'll dip it in. And they, as you, typically, oh. you're going to see that it is, they change fairly rapidly. So it looks like we're going to stay at about a pH of 6 on this particular water here. This is Ozarka. It's a very popular one. Uh, and it's a 100%, it states that it's a 100% natural spring water. And it is bottled in Texas. Next we have life water. Life water claims to be pH balanced. So pH balanced, when you see that, that should mean and indicate a pH of seven is what the indication should be when it says pH balanced because that's what is considered neutral. Okay. So next we have smart water and they actually have a claim on there that they have added electrolytes. So we would expect this one to be a little bit higher pH, is that correct? Correct, so electrolytes are minerals. So we will do a pH test here. Uh-oh. Evian is our next water, and it actually has a claim uh, to be a pH of 7.2, and it appears that it actually comes from France. So let's see what our pH does here. You can see it's already starting to turn a little more green on this particular one. Next we'll go to Propel. It's a very popular water right now. It also states that it has electrolytes, so we should see a higher pH with Propel's water. And I think we may have a winner here. So we definitely see a change there. So you can actually see on this particular one, we're getting up in the pH. I'm gonna say that's gonna be closer to an eight. What do you think? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at the moment we've got Evian and we have Propel as our two more basic. So I'll tell you what we'll do is how about if we just keep our 
strips with these particular bottles. Let's see. So you go to a store, you see the choices of waters, and you have all these choices and you have these two. Do you pick these two? I would if I was acidic. Okay. So if I had osteoporosis, major fatigue, muscle soreness, irregular heartbeats, um, those are a few indicators that there could be a problem besides doing the saliva, and get my tester, the saliva pH test. Okay. What else, are there any other benefits to the organs, to the, what's the alkalinity help us out systemically wise? Mm -hmm. Well, and so the bones have minerals. So alkaline means minerals and uh, our bones act as that storage uh, of those minerals. If we're in an acid state, that means that our bones aren't able to release those minerals, uh, maybe because you're low in the minerals. And so often people will have some physical soreness, just fatigued. They just can't do very much walking or exercise before they get tired or sore uh, very easily. Um, then the, the heart muscle, any muscle requires calcium and magnesium, potassium and magnesium and calcium uh, every time it's beating. So we have to have these minerals. If we're low in minerals, our body will break down the bones. And, and there's only so much in the bones. So the body is always trying to achieve pH balance. It's always trying to get seven. Mm -hmm. yes. So the more acidic that we take in, the more the body's going to be looking to how, how to balance that out. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, so I think part of what we've learned in this is that just to be aware. And uh, one of the things we would offer is that if you are interested or intrigued by are you acidic or are you not, feel free to reach out to us and we'll send you out a free test kit to see if you're acidic or not and see if this is a bigger concern than others. Uh, I think in our findings, what we found is that uh, our findings were Propel and Evian are the more alkaline. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs>